Hello, and this in this video we're gonna create a dependency injection with Autofac using Visual Studio .NET 2010. To begin, we have to create a project, new project, console application. Console application test test console application instead, and we have to create an interface and then a class that is that is add new element interface its name will be i client i client interface client at private private a string full name public a string set name set name set name a string a name curly braces this dot full name equals to a name Said nay. Not a string, instead void. Void set name. And finally, public a string get name string a name. Curly braces. Return this that full name. Ah, the uh, no, no, no. This is an interface. This is an interface. We only have to define the methods we're gonna use in the implementation before. In the implementation. Okay. Now, now, we're gonna define the class, the client, the client class, new element, new element, client, client.cs uh, implements i client, i client, and define all the methods, and define all the methods. Copy a pause, a copy and paste here. Okay, we have to implement the the method that is full name equals to a name um, here. The implementation will be will be get name get name return full name full name and we have to correct here get name with no arguments with no arguments set name it's okay. Then we have to add a reference. Click button. Uh, no, not here. Not here. We have to add a reference. Uh, nugget. Nugget package. Nugget reference. Nugget reference. And we have to find. 
We have to find auto fuck. Auto fuck. Auto fuck. The program is retrieving the data, the information from the error net. Auto fuck. A close. Okay, close no. Auto fuck. Search auto auto pack install the process is installing the plugin is installing okay and IT listens close and finally in the main program we have to define bar uh, builder or bar app bar container is underscore container container equals to new container container builder new container builder then uh, you have to add the reference you have to add the reference using out of fact then container the register type register 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 type register type client client as interface client interface client semicolon okay then you have to define a new variable a bar aux a u x underscore container that built that built Then you have to define another variable, a bar underscore c equals to aux the resolve client undo the cast, the client cast, the client cast, semicolon. Uh, we have an error here. Ouch. That resolve. Ouch. That resolve. I client. Semicolon. Okay. Finally, console the right line underscore c dot get name grenade semicolon then you have to add console dot read key read key click here click here uh, properties Text CA action start start click on play we have an error we have an error we have an error an interface error okay We compile again. We have an error again. We only have to include the skeleton definition. We have any name here. We have to enter instead. That is C dot set name 
Jessica, semicolon, save it, click on play. The retrieve name is Jessica. If you write, if you write Kevin, Kevin, and replace the bug for release and click on play, then you have Kevin on to the screen. On to the screen. Okay. This is everything for this video. I hope you like it. Any suggestion or any problem, I will pay attention for you. Sayonara.